Well, Martha, as you can see behind me here, I'm at the corner of Cervantes and Fillmore in the Marina District. This is the kind of devastation we're talking about. This was once a four-story apartment complex on the corner here, reduced to rubble. There is no hope of survivors now inside, although last night they did find an elderly couple here embraced. They apparently died shortly after the earthquake. This is what we're dealing with here in San Francisco in this hardest hit section of the marina. It is, the devastation is widespread, particularly in this area. This is a 20 block area we're dealing with. And of course, we first heard about this when we heard of the fire that uh, erupted shortly after the quake at 5.05 on Tuesday. That fire killed people just a few blocks from where I'm standing. That area is still sealed off, as is this 20 block area of the marina in San Francisco. Right now, people are unable to return to their homes, although I've talked to several people who have actually snuck in to try to retrieve belongings, although there are structures here. Some of them are precariously perched. One woman I talked to said she had to go back in. She just simply had to see what was left, and she recovered some, some items, uh, clock radio, things like that. The residents here right now are meeting with Mayor Art Agnos down at the Marina Wharf, uh, just a few blocks from here. And I'll tell you what, it is an unhappy crowd of people here. As I've mentioned, they have not been able to get back into their homes. That's cause for concern. They want to at least go back and see the damage, but they're not allowed. Underscoring all this, there are people still in their homes in this marine area who cannot leave. Once they leave and cross the fire line right here that you see, they can't go back in. So it's a very difficult situation weighing your goods, your personal possessions, and perhaps your safety and well-being here in this marine area. Now, John, one of the positive things that I've heard come out of this is that for the first time, perhaps in years, neighbors have talked to each other. They've gotten to know each other because of this tragedy. They've had no choice. Directly uh, south of me from here is the Salvation Army area, Martha, where people, 500 of them, stayed last night. Neighbors who never knew each other are meeting now, of course, and trying to pull together. That is the feeling in the city. And again, we've talked about this as we've been live the last two days. This is not new territory for San Franciscans and people in the Bay Area. Earthquakes come with a territory here, and they are prepared and they know what to do. But this has been more devastating than anybody certainly could have predicted.